What's up, guys? It is your boy Bernardo from the BTN HD. And if this is your first time seeing this guy right here, make sure to hit that subscribe button and get the latest and greatest on Windows updates and all that goodness. So apparently, Microsoft has been blocking Windows 7 updates to a lot of users. The reason why is because, again, at the beginning of the new year, this big scare of Intel and AMD processors with Meltdown as well as Spectre, these huge flaws with processors that we had so many years. And on the beginning of 2018, what happens? The floors pop up and everyone's going crazy with updates, right? So Microsoft is pushing out all these updates to all these machines to keep every machine in the world safe because every machine is either running Intel or AMD processor. And these flaws are attacking these CPUs. So Microsoft noticed that some of these patches are causing problems with uh, antivirus softwares. So they stopped. And that's nuts. So I saw this article and I was reading about it and it's really crazy. It looks like if you haven't received any updates since January 2018, uh, automatically you should have like a red flag go up, right? If you haven't received any updates on your machine, something's going on. So there's a possibility that your antivirus software that you have within your machine is causing a problem. Uh, if you don't have Windows Defender, which Windows 10 has, by default, you're going to get the updates. And it looks like reading the article that Windows 10 did have a block, but they released it. Uh, but you have to, this is another thing that I don't like about Microsoft, that they don't give you a list of incompatible antivirus software. They just basically said that uh, there's a lot of incompatible anti -soft, antivirus software. Which antivirus software? Give us a list. There's so many out there. You know, the, the major ones are Semantics and McAfee. But which ones, right? Uh, they also give you a hack to bypass the whole security of not having an antivirus. Don't get me wrong, it's best practice to have an antivirus software, no matter what. All right, If you have Windows 10, you're golden, you already have Windows 10 Defender. That's free, it's built in, it's constantly being up to date. If you have Windows 7, uh, they do recommend to get Microsoft Security Essentials. I thought this was decommissioned a long time ago, but it looks like they're advertising it to be installed again. So that's really weird. And, and if you do use Microsoft Security Essentials, it's only supported for Windows 7 and Service Pack 1 and also for Server 2008 R2 SP1 customers. Now, if you have a compatible antivirus software, most likely this software, you know, it updates itself and created this registry tree for you automatically. And this is the reason why you're getting software updates, which is no problem. If by any chance you don't have the option to upgrade your antivirus software and you still want to keep your machine nice and safe which I do recommend pushing out Windows updates it keeps it safe right keeps it nice and healthy sometimes it breaks it sometimes it doesn't but they do give you instructions of setting the registry key they give you a warning a caution to make sure that you know what you're doing before you do this because there's a 50 50 chance that you can break something uh, I will post this link at the bottom of the video Hopefully you guys enjoyed this kind of quick update with Microsoft and their security thing. It's kind of weird. I would love to see Microsoft provide a master list of what's incompatible or compatible antivirus software. Where's the list? If you have any questions or comments, leave them right in the bottom. And I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace out.